Apple is doing a terrible job of managing the Swift language. Their own coding assistant in Xcode can't do a good job of writing Swift code. That's the problem. If you're going to develop an iOS app like we have for Swift, you need Xcode. Apple doesn't even allow us to link our internal downloaded documentation that they provide us into the context of these models. That sounds bonkers. Yeah. I do have an external monitor that has Xcode on one side, and I do use VS Code on the other side. Wait, what? You're running <laughs> two complete integrated development environments? Yes. So, so in in VS Code, you write the code, and then you go over to Xcode, and you build the code, and you debug it, and you find the bug, and then instead of fixing the bug, you go back to VS Code, and you fix the bug, and when you think you have it fixed, you go back to X. That's horrific. When you, when you say it like that, it's kind of bonkers. <laughs> Using the LLMs inside of Xcode, they don't even give access to build. So even when I use VS Code or Xcode, they make changes. I have to manually press build. If there's errors because the syntax is outdated, I have to go back, and I have to update those models. But I can't update the model inside of Xcode. I have to update the model inside of VS well, code. so that's the other crazy thing is how much Apple is willing to just break things. Basically, every year, Apple says, you have to change your code. We've changed how this works. And they say, you know, as of the end of September of this year, we're not accepting any new versions that don't do it the new way. And everyone just rewrites it. Whatever historic code was on GitHub, it's all garbage. It's garbage. Any LLM training on that yes. is now getting nothing. Apple in 5.1 started a different concurrency pattern, reiterated in 5.5, all to benefit SwiftUI. LLMs can't compile SwiftUI. They cannot write observable objects for state objects, they just don't know the difference. And so you end up with broken, obscure code. You ask Xcode 26 about Swift 6, doesn't even know about them because these models are trained on previous data. That's bonkers. In conclusion, I want you to subscribe.